This calculation is taken from example 2.7 from our textbook. It reads as follows. A shunt wound generator with a shunt field resistance of 120 ohms and an armature resistance of 0,2 ohms delivers 50 amperes at a terminal voltage of 300 volts. Now before we look at the questions, uh, the first thing we need to do is to draw our circuit diagram. Now most importantly, this is a generator and the field winding is in parallel to the armature. Because it's a generator, it is supplying electrical load, therefore it is producing armature current. And a small amount of current goes through the shunt winding. The resistance inside the armature is called RA and the shunt resistance is called R shunt. And it is the armature that produces the EMF. And in order for the circuit to work, we need some terminal voltage across our terminals. And for a generator, it is a mechanical in and electrical out. Let's just write down all the values that are given to us um, in this question. So we have a shunt field resistance of 120 ohms. The armature resistance is uh, 0,2 ohms. The circuit or the armature assembly delivers 50 amperes. So our supply current here is 50 amperes. And we have a terminal voltage of 300 volts. Right, the first question says calculate the armature current. So to calculate the armature current, IA, it's going to be uh, IL plus um, I shunt. The supply current is 50 amperes. And to calculate I shunt, it's going to be V over R shunt. So we need to substitute there. The uh, terminal voltage is 300 volts. And the shunt resistance, which is the bigger resistance, is 120 ohms. So therefore, the armature current will be 50 plus 2,5. So therefore, that gives us 52,5 amps. Okay, next question. Calculate the magnitude of the generated EMF if the voltage owing to the brush contact resistance is 3,8 volts. So let's write down the formula over here. For a shunt circuit, it is V plus IA times RA and then we need to include the brush contact resistance and that's the armature current multiplied by the resistance of the brush. You'll notice the generator is always positive. The terminal voltage is 300 volts. The uh, armature current we've worked that out it is 52,5 times the armature resistance which is the smaller one that's 0,2 and then the volt drop across the brushes is 3,8 volts. So we end up with an EMF, which is generated of 314,3 volts. Right, the next question. Calculate the mechanical power required to drive this generator if the full load efficiency is 92%. So remember the input power is bigger and the output power is smaller. Now to calculate the output power, we need the supply voltage and we need the supply current. Supply voltage is 300 times the supply current of 50 amperes. That means the uh, output power is 15,000 watts. Okay, so to calculate the input power, we will say the output power of 15,000 watts divided by the efficiency of 0.92. Therefore, the input power is going to be 16,304 watts. All right, so you can see the losses there, the difference between the input power and the output power. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching this video.